Okay, welcome back. This section on chapter three is going to look at the basic type of authentication, the most fundamental or basic type of authentication is device-based authentication. So when we're talking about device-based authentication, we're talking about the requirement to have a password to access device or to get into a privilege mode on the device. Um, so basically, um, to do that, we have to set a password at the router. Um, so as an example, everyone is familiar with going into a router, going into the global config mode, and basically setting up passwords. So um, we can set an enable password. Um, and now when we change into the enable mode, it's going to prompt us for a, uh, a password. And I'm allowed to get into that privilege mode so I can now make changes to the router. I can also set passwords to have just basic access to the router through different lines. So if I wanted to set a password for a particular line, like the console line, I'd go to line con zero and basically I'm going to um, require a password. And now what happens if I access the, pa the router through that line, it's going to require that I have a password. Okay, I can also strengthen my passwords. So some of the things I can do is I can use the secure password minimum length. What that does, it makes me use a stronger password. So in this case, I would need uh, a password of 10 characters or greater. All right, I can also encrypt my passwords by using either the um, secret command with enable secret in password, or I can use the service password encryption command, which will uh, encrypt all of my clear text passwords. So if I were to take a look and do a show run, I would see right now that my password's in clear text. Well, if someone has access to this router, they can uh, then get access to all of my passwords uh, and easily access the router after hours or whatever. So what I might want to do is protect that. And I can do that again by using the secure password encryption command. And now when I access the router, and I do a show run, I will see that my uh, passwords have now been encrypted. Okay. Uh, another thing that I can do to protect access to the networks is I can make an executive timeout. And what that basically does is after a certain period of time, um, let's say five seconds, uh, I'm sorry, five minutes, um, I can have the line automatically closed and I'll have to re-log in to gain access. Uh, and then finally what I can do is I can use a higher level of encryption on my password. So you, instead of using an MD5 hash, um, I could use the password encryption AES command, and that would basically encrypt my passwords with a higher level of encryption, a little more difficult to crack if someone were um, um, to get both the uh, um, hash and a uh, tool to break the hash. All right, um, that basically are the ways I can protect device-based passwords. The final thing I could do is I could enable a secure connection to the router um, and only allow access to the router through that secure connection like SSH. So instead of allowing clear text with, with Telnet, I'll require all users accessing the network to use SSH, which is a secure encrypted line. All information coming to and going to the router will be encrypted. And that concludes the fundamental means of protecting your, uh, your device.